Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, the governments of the world, particularly the United States, is always screaming they don't have money, that they're in great debt. And of course, this is all because of corruption within the United States system. There's plenty of money for everything. And of course, the rich get richer having one giant mansion and hundreds of cars and all the things that the rich people have while hundreds of thousands of people live on the street, as would happen in the city of Los Angeles, uh, which has hundreds of thousands of people that have no place to go. And these things get worse and worse. A lot of the homeless, of course, are people who are working that can't afford $2,000 a month for a little apartment somewhere. So this kind of self-fulfilling prophecy of even hard-working people that have to live in their cars um, is part of this horrible situation which is uh, enveloping the entire world. And of course, nothing is done about that while there is so much open space, empty particularly manufacturing. What does America manufacture? Gumballs? Well, we have giant factory buildings all over the place that could be converted into apartment complexes and that could uh, make excellent profits by uh, having reasonably priced rents. Now, all of this is a serious problem which uh, the governments refuse to uh, deal with. Now, how do you raise tax money? Well, a great way of raising tax money, which never seems to be understood by the American people, is the fact that everything that the government pays for and is developed, similar to GPS, which was developed by the United States government, is then given away. This is paid by the taxpayers and it's public domain. What? This happens with everything. The United States government should be the number one collector of royalties on all of the things that they produce. After all, the American people paid for this and they should be paid back for it. And if there's a profit to be made, which there should be in GPS, which costs hundreds of millions, probably many billions to actually make, including a whole bunch of things from the goofball space program, <laughs> you know, like rubber pencils. Uh, so the whole idea is these things, uh, which are commonly used. The American flag. What about uh, the uh, Washington symbols of the president, images, etc.? This is all, should be all copyrighted, owned, and enforced payments to the American people and this should go into a fund so that the American people get their money back and can reinvest it into public projects. Now I know this makes way too much sense. Just give everything away. We shouldn't charge for it. Well it's nice how that is when it comes to our money, the American people's money. Business doesn't do this. International business doesn't do that. You steal a little copied piece of garbage from the Germans or the Japanese and you'll find out how they take you to court. So, but if it's an American invention from Levi jeans to t-shirts to almost everything else that the world uses today, it's given away freely and nothing is ever enforced. Uh, copyrights in general are stolen uh, by uh, the Chinese in particular and there's massive abuse there and very little is done about it. The copying of American goods is pandemic and horrific by everyone, particularly the Europeans and the Germans who even copy candy bars. So it goes on and on, undercutting the price, and of course American goods in Europe are very expensive, even though the U.S. dollar is worth 20% less than the euro, which should make American goods cheap. Yet American good prices have actually went up in Europe as the dollar is devalued. Well, you figure that out. That's not the way it works. Of course, it works like that when you're a German bank and the Nazis run everything. Yeah. Well, of course it works like that. And you American suckers out there that are in Europe protecting the Nazis are just a, a, a complete affront to everything. But we certainly can raise billions and billions of dollars enforcing American patents on goods that are copyrighted by America. And that includes the American flag and every patch and flag that's made anywhere in the world should be paying a royalty fee to do that. And as such, 
oh, we would solve a lot of our problems. Oh, we don't have money for this or that, and we can't pay for medicines. We can't raise Social Security. We can't take care of anybody. Oh, we don't have the money, as that nice-to-know dead guy um, now used to say about uh, the medical policies, which have the great donut hole in it, that they only pay hardly nothing for prescriptions. Uh, and, of course... Um, this, of course, has been the cry of governments. Not that they don't want to do it. They say they can't afford it unless they want it for their own pork barrel, barrel uh, uh, programs that they give to their own communities most of the time. So the very con fiscal conservative Republicans aren't very fiscally conservative when it comes to their own districts. So we have lots of free stuff like libraries and so many other things that are totally unnecessary. So keeping this all in mind, we can solve our problems by doing that. GPS should not have been donated, and we can probably go through hundreds of technologies that were developed by the U.S. government that have just been given away. This is insanity, and it needs to stop. We have critical social needs that aren't being taken care of based on the so-called uh, statement that there is no money. Of course, this is nonsense, and none of the problems that need to be taken care of are being taken care of. There is uh, a need, a horrible need for housing, yet there isn't a lot of it being built. And what is being built is very expensive, and that doesn't need to be done either. You can make uh, fine quality structures inexpensively. And again, over long-term financing, this should not be a problem. Yet nothing is ever taken care of, and these critical problems grow and grow. So as usual, people, you're being screwed if you think anything's going to change from these criminals that continue to operate government because of the massive amount of corruption. These criminals support the other criminals who will murder you, otherwise known as the police departments, and military and anybody else they want to bring in to murder you, the subsidized criminal fire departments that do nothing. Well, this is how the world is. But there are solutions to everything, and it starts by ending corruption. Until next time.